and welcome to another video review from Colour with Claire. Today this is something a little bit different, it's not about colouring, rather it's about drawing and sketching. Um, I can't draw at all, saved my life, um, but I'd really love to learn. So this is a great book for teaching yourself how to draw different objects. It's by John Stitch, it's called Sketch Your Stuff, 200 Things to Draw and How to Draw Them, and it's published by Search Press. It's a really um, substantial feeling book. It's full colour all the way through and its RRP is 9 99 which is really, really good value for something at this comprehensive. So this is my sketchbook where I've been practising a few things from the book and I'll show you that in a moment. So let's get straight into the book. So the book is split into seven categories. We've got the studio, the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom, the lounge, the garage and the street. And here's a bit about John who made the book and there he is and a few of his sketches and then the book really starts here in tools of the trade so obviously the tools are the foundation of everything if you've got the right tools you're ready to go so it gives you advice on types of pencils to use and um, different rendering techniques you can use in your sketching so if you want obviously color um, sorry not color sketch a dark a darker shaded area you would use really dense dense lines with hard pressure so basically pencil brush pen fine point pen and a paintbrush that's your tools which everybody pretty much has Here's just a little um, colour swatch um, diagram showing you primary, secondary and tertiary colours, how they mix together and blend. And we start in the studio. So this is all things you might find in your desk and your art supplies. First of all, he's showing you um, to use the silhouette of what you're drawing as a basis for getting that outline right. So this one is showing vanishing points and perspectives of 3D uh, cubes or objects. Now you may notice as I go through this book that it's not so much a step-by-step, -step, this is a walkthrough of how to do it type thing. It's more giving you tips on different, all different types of shapes and forms which will help you draw whatever it is you want to draw so not necessarily right i'm going to draw this stick this exact figure it's giving you the information to learn of how to do different things that that have similar forms and shapes if that makes sense so here we've got things in the desk drawer obviously different types of shapes which need different renderings obviously here it's darker etc so it's just giving you those kind of tips how to draw hands crumpled paper and the facial anatomy so it is a bit of a step by step here but it sort of it doesn't hold your hand all the way through it it encourages you to sort of play about with it and follow his advice and see what you come up with So we've got the kitchen, all these weird and wonderful shaped things in the kitchen that you might think, how the heck am I going to draw those? Um, it gives you um, tips and info of how to draw them. Um, also lights and shadows, which are really interesting for colourists actually, because we use shadows a lot in our, um, our colouring. So here he's showing you how to um, accomplish a cut glass look. So I have attempted this. Here it is. <laughs> now, side by side comparison, not great. But if you just saw that, you probably would think, yeah, it looks like cut glass, or would you not? I don't know. I think it's not too bad for a first attempt. And there's all different things that's in the fridge how to draw uh, packaged foodstuffs. Kitchen gadgets, cutlery, forks quite difficult actually, I never realised how difficult a fork could be to draw until I actually tried it, but that one went in the bin. <laughs> Peas in a pod, so you might have seen that I have attempted this, 
absolutely identical, wouldn't you say? <laughs> no. So, yeah, as I said, not the best drawer, but I'm giving it a go. And this book is really helping me, actually, just to learn about how to create, how to accomplish the look of certain things, even if it's very, very basic, like cylinders, cubes, things like that. So we've got different types of glasses, including these springy, funny ones. And again, you know, you can use this sort of technique to, to draw springs or coils or anything that you need to draw that is a similar form as that. So, like I say, the book isn't showing you step by step how to draw everything. It's giving you those tips to learn to um, apply to your own whatever it is you want to draw. So we've got dogs, we've got self-portraits, shoes and different luggage, clothes, and then we move on to the bathroom. So there's all these different types of textures that um, you learn in this book. So we've got the nail brush here, for example, how to get that look that there are different um, sets of bristles with them obviously being so tightly um, put together so it tells you how to sort of accomplish that we've got water here and how it sits on um, 3d shapes such as the human body etc and this is really good the flow of water down the drain that really gives it that look but it's so simple it's it there's nothing detailed to it it's just very very simple rudimentary line sketch So we move on to the lounge, we've got some succulent plants, different types of seating, we've got cats, different ornaments, this is a good one, this is distracted subjects, so it's usually when someone teaches you to draw a person, it's always from the face on or at least from the side profile. But this is sort of showing you a more relaxed, casual um, way of drawing people in, you know, a casual setting from different angles, which is really interesting. So obviously we've got the back of the heads, we've got the side, we've got more angled views. So in the garage, we've got lots of different tools. Lighting in dark places. So... Lighting on a rainy day, lighting on a brighter day where you've got more shadows. So it's a really, really detailed and comprehensive book. It's, it's, it's a Bible really for anyone who wants to start sketching and then apply what they've learned to other objects, not just what's in the book. So we've got like landscape scenes of the street. We've got more on leaves. So walking the dog, this is quite a funny addition, I'm showing you how the human form looks when walking, you know, when being dragged or whatever. <laughs> Here we've got different things that you would find out and about, so obviously sewer and manhole covers and uh, traffic lights, signs, things like that. Objects on a railing, so obviously this is all the same railing but it's showing you how different objects would sit um, naturally on that railing. So obviously your doll's going to be really um, floppy and your hat's going to be a little bit more formed so it will sit at a certain angle. I hope I'm explaining this right, I'm no good at explaining stuff, but this is my review of Sketch Your Stuff, 200 Things to Draw and How to Draw Them. So as I say, I was going to show you my sketchbook really quickly. So this is my attempt at nail scissors. They don't look very 3D, but I did have a go. And this is just things that I've been doing previous to this book. Big fan of Pokemon. <laughs> different arrows, different bunting, dividers, things that you might use when making a bullet journal. This is what I did when I was practicing manga. Different icons and then some more doodles, so ways to render colouring pages or any page really that isn't just block colouring. 
So that's it, sketch your stuff and you can buy it from the Search Press website and from Amazon, I'll leave the links all below. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at something a little bit different and I haven't rambled on too much and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.